All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, trying to ignore the guy chopping wood next door. So if you hear it in the recording, I apologize. As I mentioned in the last video, we're going to go over the external resources uh, that we'll be using. If you've done any recent projects or videos with us, most of these are going to be familiar, if not all of them. First, we have Bootstrap. Now, if you're not familiar with Bootstrap, Bootstrap is kind of pre-written CSS. So it allows us to make our application or web page look nice without having to write a whole lot of CSS. Now, I've always said, uh, if you're going to use things like Bootstrap, it is really uh, good that you already have an understanding. You know how to write CSS so that you actually know what you're doing when you're using this. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to use the CDN link, which you can find here by clicking on Get Started, and you'll see them here. Now, these might look a little different than the ones I'm using uh, on GitHub, but they should work just the same. Next, we have jQuery. If you're not familiar with jQuery, jQuery is a nice library for writing JavaScript uh, easier. That's really the best way I can say it. And we've used this in some of our other videos. Now those watching our last dynamic series will note that uh, their CDN link used to be at the bottom of the page and now it's not. I believe you have to go to download and then scroll down and you can find some CDNs here. Now the next resource we're using is Font Awesome. Uh, it's a really great uh, font set that is all icons. It allows us to make nice slick icons uh, very simply. And again, we're going to use the CDN link, which can be found on Get Started, and it's right here. Then for our code editor, we're going to continue using Aptana, which you can download for free here at aptana.com. If you're not familiar with Aptana and you haven't done many of our recent videos, if you go over to YouTube and find the Developing a Dynamic Website 2014 Extras, I walk you through how to set up Aptana. And lastly, we need a server to run this because we're doing PHP. For those using Windows, Linux, or Mac, you can use a resource like XAMPP here. Or if you're hosting somewhere with a hosting company, you can simply upload this code or build the code and upload it and run it on your server. Now that we've got all the uh, pieces and explanation together, we're going to start creating the uh, files.